Hello everyone. Today I will discuss about cell cycle and its phases. So without any delay, let's start the video. So first of all, what do you mean by the cell cycle? So as you know, the cells in our body they just divide to maintain their population. So in order to divide, they follow certain events or certain you can say the steps that prepare the cell to divide. So these sequential series of event which ultimately make the cell to divide into two daughter cells. So these sequences are called as the cell cycle. Now the phases of cell cycle. So cell cycle is broadly divided into two phases. First is interphase and second is the M that is mitotic phase. So this interphase is also called as preparatory phase because in this phase the cell prepare itself for the division while in the M phase the cell finally divides. Now let's discuss these phases in detail. So first is interphase. So as I told this phase is also called as preparatory phase because in this phase cell just accumulate or just form all the necessary required material for the cell division. So this interphase is further divided into sub phases and these are first is G1 phase where the G stand for gap or growth. So gap phase or growth phase of one. So in this phase the cell increase the supply of its proteins and it also make uh, you can say make uh, organelles to increase their number like for example mitochondria ribosome so they are also synthesized during this phase and ultimately due to the synthesis of these organelle the cell also grows in size so this g1 phase is of the longest duration sub phase of the interphase after this g1 phase the next phase is s phase where s stand for synthesis so in this phase the synthesis of DNA takes place means DNA will replicate to get double because as we know after the mitosis the cell will be divided into two half so in order to transfer the genetic material equal in the daughter cell the DNA has to be duplicated or has to be get double so in the S phase you simply you can say that DNA gets double in the S phase and certain other synthesis also takes place in this phase like for example the synthesis of histone proteins and the duplication of centroil also takes place in the S phase. After the S phase the next sub phase of the interphase is Z2 that is gap 2 or growth 2 phase. So in this phase cell further synthesize some other proteins required for the cell and some organelle they also get duplicated in this phase. Now with this Z1, S and Z2 phase interphase get completed. So by these sub phases cell just prepared itself for the next phase which is the M phase that is mitosis phase. In the mitosis phase the cell is just divided to make two daughter cells. So in the next slide I will discuss about the mitosis in detail. So now let's discuss the phases of mitosis. So we begin with interphase. So this phase is phase before the mitosis. During this phase cell prepare itself for the mitosis. So it make all the component like it make its DNA and other proteins. So that's why you can simply say the cell just preparing itself for the mitosis. So in the interphase a typical cell have the following structure like it has nucleus which contain the genetic material then this nucleus is surrounded by the nuclear membrane and there is nucleolus also present within the nucleus and as I told the nucleus has a genetic material which are the chromosomes and during interphase the DNA gets duplicated this interphase consists of three sub phases that is G1 phase S phase and G2 phase so DNA get duplicated in the S phase that is synthesis phase so during interphase the cell have the duplicated chromosomes and it also has the centroil which will make the spindle fiber now the first phase of mitosis starts with the prophase here the cell start to you can say lose the nuclear membrane and nucleolus 
एंड द जेनेटिक मेटीरियल दैट इज दीज क्रोमोजोम दे कंडेंस्ड एंड टेक अ शेप ऑफ प्रोपर क्रोमोजोम लाइक यू कैन सी इन द डायग्राम सो हेयर नाउ वी हैव प्रोपरली कंडेंस्ड क्रोमोजोम्स एंड एज आई टोल्ड द न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन एंड न्यूक्लियोल दे स्टार्ट डिसपेयरिंग और यू कैन से दे जस्ट डिसअपियर एट द लेट प्रोफेस Now, after the prophase, the next phase is the metaphase. In this phase, the chromosomes they just pulled toward the center of the metaphasic plate, and here, the this pull is due to the presence of spindle fiber, which are made from this centroil, and these spindle fibers are the micro tubules. Now, in the next phase, that is anaphase. so here these chromosomes they are pulled toward the opposite poles and this pulling force is also due to the spindle fiber so now in the anaphase they just reach to the opposite pole and in the next phase that is telophase so as you can see here the formation of two new strand, new cells starts like here there is a formation of new nuclear membrane around the cells and the new nucleus will also be formed so in the telophase you can say that two new nuclei they are formed across the chromosome now the next phase of mitosis is the cytokinesis so here cyto means cytoplasm and kinesis means division so after the telophase like you can clearly see here that in the telophase we have two nuclei cells but the cytoplasm is not divided yet here as you can see but during cytokinesis the cytoplasm also divide and we have the two new daughter cells as you can see and these daughter cells have the same chromosome complement as that of the parent cell so that's why it is also known as equational division so these are the phases of mitosis from prophase to cytokinesis So that's all for today guys hope you like the video see you in the next video till then take care